Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled What Does U.S. Election Looks Like Abroad? It should be really interesting and uh, without further ado, let's get right into this video. But before we do that, guys, I just want to say that if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. We're almost at 15,000 subscribers and I want you guys to be a part of that, man. And uh, we have a lot of playlists on the channel. If you guys want to go check out those playlists, just go right ahead and check out those playlists. We got so much videos here that can keep you guys entertained. Really, really amazing videos. So go take your time on and, um, you know, go Go check out those videos. I also have social medias, Instagram, Twitter, all these type of stuff. So go check them out and uh, have fun, guys. Uh, link will be uh, at the top of the comment section for all those things that I just mentioned. But without further ado, guys, let's get right into this video. All right, let's have a look here. New Mexico's 49th in employment and 50th for schools. We got to bust through some walls to make changes. To rebuild our infrastructure. Think of Trump's wall. <laughs> so awkward. Please play me more. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? It is chaotic. It's crazy. It's like you you want to stop people from voting. This is. It's stupid. Oh. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> the one let the voters choose the politicians. Uh, let the politicians choose the vote. <laughs> that looks like an ink block test. This looks like a toilet to me. It looks like a Jackson Pollock. That's straight up uh, Jackson Pollock. Majority party to reach for extra boundaries for its bullet. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? I don't even know what that is. Gerrymandering? Gerrymandering. The art of drawing districts to put as many of your voters together, or more often, to make sure the other party's voters are broken up and scattered. Well, yeah. now when you tell me what gerrymandering is, then this sounds like cheating. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go, buddy. That's illegal. I'm sorry. Firstly, gerrymandering needs to be illegal. In Australia, redistricting is done by an independent commission, not done by the politicians who won those districts. So it is a lot fairer. If you haven't registered to vote, time is running out. With registration deadlines as far as 30 days before the election. What is voter registration? I mean, I know what it is, but I understand why do you have this kind of thing? In Germany, you don't need to register yourself for the vote. In Estonia, voter registration is automatic. I actually had somebody uh, who was an election officer come over to my house and uh, help me out with my process of voter registration. And mind you, this is in a country of 1.3 billion people. Voter purging is the process by which election officials remove uh, names from the voter rolls. Come on, no one thinks of the word purge and thinks of anything <laughs> positive. We have seen the purge films. Georgia likely removed nearly 200,000 from voter rolls. Wrong. See, I'm not mixed up in all that politics. In 2016, I was a kiddo, man. I'm still a kiddo, but the point is, I'm, uh, you know, but you know, oh boy, that is nutty. Whoa, 200,000. I can't imagine for this to happen in Germany. Nope, you don't get to vote. Nope, you don't get to vote either. Nope. <laughs> Inconvenient, yeah. Voting in America is on a Tuesday. Many people don't vote because they are either too busy or have conflicting work or school schedules. To me, it sounds like 19th century, to be honest. You gotta do that mail-in and vote. What I really appreciate about Germany is it's so easy for you to go and vote. It's on a Sunday, it's on a free day. In India, it's actually illegal to keep your employee from voting. So in Australia, we have this thing called a democracy sausage. You take a selfie with your democracy sausage. You haven't voted in Australia unless you've gotten your democracy sausage. Okay. In the last Estonian parliamentary elections, I think I cast my vote uh, during breakfast. I have this identity card. I insert it into a computer too. reader, pick my candidate and cast my vote. How long did it take you to vote in your country's last election? 
It took me two minutes. Approximately a minute. Five minutes. Five to seven minutes. Five to ten. Ten minutes. Seven hours. Forty-five minutes. Exactly. And thirteen seconds. It took for me. Wait, wait, wait. It took him the amount of time it will take for me to oh, fly okay. from the UK, from London to New York. <laughs> Feels like the opposite of easy to vote. This is not acceptable. It's just not acceptable in a, dem in a democratic country, I think. Strategize, baby, that's it. What percentage of the voting age population was registered to vote in the US in 2016? I'll say 80% just because they haven't been doing too well recently or everything else. <laughs> yeah, that's probably like about 45%. 64, there you go. Sixty-four percent. Yeah, that's not good. That's almost half of the Americans have no voice. It's it's like you you want to stop people from voting. That's the Why intention. is it so? Somebody please help us. We are at our polling place in Atlanta, Fickett Elementary School. The systems are down. Oh look, there's no line. There's no line at all out here in what suburban white country. Exactly. <laughs> they think it's cap. They think it's cap. Let me tell you something. Anybody come to me talking about that racism, talking about somebody call them name, you a dummy. And you know why I call you a dummy? Because guess what? Racism ain't that. That's not the one you should be focused at. These are the racism that you need to be focused at. The ones that are trying to cut you out the system, bro. Right? There are certain states, man. I'm telling you, you're not going to experience that type of stuff. Right? So it's kind of crazy thing that people experience this, bro. <laughs> That's for, for real? That's the reason? Oh. Uh, uh, that is the definition of racism. Ah, it's the same in South Africa. Voila, that is racism. Racism is to keep one below and one at the top. It's not hate, oh, you're dumb, you're black, you're stupid. That ain't racism for me, because that ain't the true definition of racism. Racism is just to keep one person at the top, okay? And when you understand the true reason for all of this, you understand that systematic racism is the racism that everyone needs to be focused on. Oh, that, oh he called me the N-word, why you mad for? That's not affecting you. Check out the systematic racism, the police type stuff, man, the voting type stuff, man. Y'all gotta wise up, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Africa. If you going to, if you want to go into a wealthy white community, everything is easy. If you want to go to the township, I don't even know if you're gonna get to vote. Moms and dad. took their kids, you know, to vote with them during the civil rights era. Now how I get to do that now, how I get to take my family with me and I can go vote with my family for the first time and, and that means a lot to me. I think, I think this, this is a sign of the resilience that I think is what will protect democracy if nothing else. But that American spirit, you have to love it. You know, people are still going out there and standing in the queues and standing in the rain. Let me tell you something. You see, the only problem I got with American politics is this. Ain't no love for um, certain people, right? And I know I probably break a lot of hearts when I say this, but the Republicans, the Democrats, their agenda is practically similar. I don't want to make nobody feel bad but black people ain't important to neither one of those parties, right? The Republicans are strong enough so they will shun you, right? I'm not saying that the Republicans are racist. I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna do that. But what the problem is this, the Democrats are using black people, they use them. And I don't care what nobody wanna say. Show me what's happening currently right now for black people in America because of the Democratic Party.
But show me what the black people, the black voters have done for the Democratic Party. Listen to me. <clears throat> when I see a cop killing, when I see more policing, better policing in communities, when I see more jobs, when I see such and such happening, when I see the loan opportunity, when you go to a bank, they're not telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that. The judgmental type stuff, the, the imbalance of opportunities because of color, because of race, all of those are still embedded in the system. Nobody is trying to get the system changed. And that's the biggest problem in America. That's the reason why I don't care what nobody has to say. I'm done with politics. I'm done with politics because it's a big, I have an agenda and I'm going to use you to successfully get that agenda completed, right? I'm not with it. Whatever happens, happens. That's just how I look at it because I cannot choose between too bad because if I choose between too bad, maybe this bad seems better for me, but it's, it's for sure hurting somebody else. And I'm an I'm a, I'm a evil person if I'm going to choose a Democrat just because I believe that, okay, they might do something. And I'm a very evil person if I choose the Republicans just because I think they might do one thing good. It, it's just not right for me. And that's the reason why I ain't messing with no politics, period. I'm not messing with it, period. No, American politics is corrupt. And um, it's all about agendas. And you don't know what somebody's agenda until it's being fulfilled, right? Putin's agenda is still not showed. You know why? Because he has not successfully gotten to do or complete his agenda, right? We don't know his true ag agenda. We don't know why he invaded Ukraine. He uses the NATO topic, but what is his true what is his true agenda? We don't know. But either ways, we're going to keep moving. As weird as it sounds, the only way to overcome this is to vote. Fight to vote and then change the system by voting. I will never give up on America. Like, if people keep the same spirit, keep the same energy, then undoubtedly a change gone come. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, ain't no change happening in America. I sound like I'm a pessimistic person who ain't gonna talk. You know, I'm not gonna talk that sound good. America has no future of changing, none. It will be hidden. Do not get it twisted. Change is not hiding the issue. Change is not, okay, let's just cover it up. That's not change, right? And that's what a lot of people are getting it twisted. America is not and never will ever change. America will always be this way. It's just how America was made and it will never change. I'm telling you, all these European countries where um, they were slave masters, they were, they started this thing, the Spain, the France. What's going on in France right now? What's going on in Spain right now? I can promise you, I take a black person out of the hood in America and I put them in Spain or France. They are gonna say, man, I prefer it right here. I feel much better. I've been treated better right here. Not everybody in America who is of dark skin or supposedly African or whatever, goes through the negatives. But for the people who actually don't go through that, they need to be the ones to try to assist these people. And what I can always say to a black person in America, get out of the, the dirt. Don't, don't go be shooting, robbing people and doing all that nonsense. Get up, go hustle, go do what you gotta do, but do it the right way. That's how you get your respect. The more successful black people that you have, it's the more things will be more of a even situation. It ain't gonna be high, low. Right. A lot of black people would never do anything to help another black person. So it, the change has to come from the people themselves. The, the government ain't going to change nothing. Right. They're not going to change nothing. It's the people. People changes stuff like that. And that's just how I go. But it's really sad. And I'm really sad for the future of America because I don't think it's going to get better. I don't think so. Um, but either way, I'm out of here, guys. Sorry for uh, being honest. But yeah, I'm out of here. Peace.